Here's some details of the final section. When we're going up to grab, you want to go straight up and grab. Okay, so like I said before, when you're grabbing, you don't want your arms to be completely locked, your elbows completely locked, you don't want that. So when you're coming out from the top view, you grab like this. Arms are slightly bent on the inside, okay? And there's a slight curve to your grab. Alright, because if it's too straight, it's too, it'll be easy for you to injure your elbows. So a slight bent out and grab. When you're doing your pivot, lead with your hips, lead with your hips, and pull down with your arms. So imagine you're trying to pull a very, very heavy guy. You're going to need to use your whole body, so you're going to have to do that. But don't lose your balance, keep it straight. The body is still straight. Alright, so lead with your hips. So I'm going to leave my hips, then hold down. From here, like I said, go punch directly here. So here, we're loaded, we're loading, we load it up, and then we're going to unload. Okay? So from here, you see I'm loaded up, and punch, and unload. Now, if you imagine you're grabbing a person uh, by the collar, you yank them down here, now he's probably in this position. Like that. So you yank them down there. Now this punch is going to go straight into his face. Okay? You're probably going to make contact here already, but we're going to follow through and punch all the way this way. So same this way. Come out, grab, yank it. Now he's probably going to be like this because you just yanked him down. So when you punch, you're probably going to make contact here and then we're just going to punch straight through over to here. Alright, so that's some details on the double grab.